Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to part 3 of our Rugby 20 League mode playthrough with Wasps and today is time for what could be a very challenging game. We've lost both our games so far and today we take on Saracens. You can see we're at home but you can also see we are massive underdogs. 10 down in terms of overall and in terms of the percentages we are 37% likely to win the match which I suppose isn't that small but obviously we are definitely the underdogs. Now before we get into this again, thank you very much guys for your support. Your support has been massive over the last few days. I said 800 people had watched the first episode of the League Mode. That is now 1,400 people. That is mind-boggling. Absolutely mind-boggling. And a further 250 of you have watched the second part so far. So if you haven't watched those first two parts, please go and watch those. And as with those videos, the same here. If you could leave a like, that would be absolutely tremendous. At the start of these games and the cycle of these games, it is massive that you guys, you guys can leave a like if you do go on to enjoy the video. So if we can get to 20 likes again, as we have done very easily on the first two videos, that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, I'd also like to thank a few certain people who have given me a few suggestions. Again, in the comments, feel free to leave your suggestions. Not the game's crap and all that, because I haven't got any time for those sort of comments. But there have been some cracking comments. I'm going to mention James Sucklin, who said that Kibberigi, that I, I think I was pronounced him as Kibber, Kibberig, he's actually pronounced as Kibberigi. Kibberigi is how he's pronounced. Um, and also one from Brabs123. He recommends replacing Brad Shields um, with Jack Willis. I think it's the other way around, actually. Replacing Jack Willis with Brad Shields. So I'm going to be confident, and hopefully his uh, recommendation is correct. And for this game, we are going to put Brad Shields in um, for Jack Willis. Apart from that, we're pretty much going to keep things the same for this game against uh, Saracens. And I'm going to see today, if this doesn't take too long, I might well do two matches in today's episode. But we'll have to see how we go. And um, We've got one point actually for, uh, presumably, a defensive reward from that game. Yes, we've got one point in terms of defensive games. They're not quite bottom of the pile, but obviously a win against Saracens would be huge. But they've won both of their games so far. They've got a points difference of 18. But with the underdogs, doing a little bit of training in our uh, early video today. If you want to go and watch that, that was... Um, the training mode on the game. I released that early on today just to see some training that we've done. But without any further ado, let's go and beat the Saracens. Come on! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's match between Wasps and Saracens. With me, and as always, a real pleasure, Ben Kay will be watching this with his expert eye. Ben, good evening. Good evening, Nick. It's a beautiful day for rugby, and I think this pool match should be a cracker. On paper, there appears to be a bit of a difference between these two sides. Saracens hold a definite advantage. But against all odds, their opponents may just end up giving them a surprise. Wasps were formed in 18... OK, I'm getting sick of this, this bloody wasps performing such and such. I don't think they've got another commentary line for us. But we've made the one change. Obviously, Brad Shields is in for Jack Willis. But apart from that, the team is exactly the same. Now, I know somebody asked on part one whether you can change um, the kits, etc. I'm not sure about that. I don't think you can, but that's something that definitely needs to be changed. Because as somebody said, it is the case that uh, they're too similar to each other. That is fairly obvious. And someone also said, could you change the camera angle? Um, I'm going to stay with how it is at the moment, but if we do need to change, um, then we certainly will. But let's get on with it, shall we? Let's start with a punt and hopefully have a good start against the Saracens. Here we go. So, we're off in this match. Good tackle. And we've extracted the ball already. That's nice. But we've got the ball back off them. That was pretty impressive. Already doing a turnover. And that's a great ball to Bassett. Come on. Outrun him. Outrun him. We're so close to the try line. It hurts. Right. We're doing very well at the start here. Come on. Gaskell. Oh, we're nearly over the line. Yes. Come on. What a start. What a fantastic start against Saracens. Within three minutes. We finally got our first try of the season. It took 163 minutes. But off to a brilliant start in this game. They couldn't quite keep us out. And uh, as you can see there, that is uh, another 30 gamer score to add. I love my achievements. And we are off to an early start. Score a try in the first five minutes of a match. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely brilliant start. We are the underdogs against Saracens. Now, I did do a little bit of training on these earlier, the conversions. But you can guarantee that I will still completely butcher it. I mean, that's too hard, I think, unfortunately. But it's the right sort of area, and it's absolutely way off. Because he hit it too hard, um, it is way off. But what a start for us. Let's make sure that uh, we don't concede anything for a long while now. That would be certainly beneficial. But I do feel a little bit more confident, I have to say, 
in our game. I hope you guys can tell. Um, because we've got that first try, we don't want to get too cocky. Um, advantage lost. Forward pass. We ran a little bit too early there. And here we are. We've got a scrum. We should win this because the scrums are quite easy to master once you know what you're doing. I didn't know what I was doing the first few episodes, but now we do. Well, I know the Saracens are getting relegated this year, but goodness me. I wasn't expected to... I mean, that was for a financial breach. That's not quite for playing poorly against Wasps. But it's very early on in the game. We can't get too cocky just yet. Right, let's keep the ball and extract. There we go. Oh, wrong way. That was a completely daft disaster, to be honest. I will be completely frank there. But this is good stuff. This is brilliant. What has happened to Saracens? They're all over the place. And we've started magnificently here, making up a huge amount of ground there. And no, we haven't uh, put the difficulty on lower. Because I know people last about that. I reckon it's all because of good old Brad Shields. I would say, unfortunately, they could just get about, get the ball back. And they have turned it over here. And look at that space he's got now. That's alarming. That's alarming. What's going on there? A complete defensive mishap. Well... We've completely let Saracens in there. It turned over. We had no defensive strategy. And the one player that should have got it, the one player that was controlled, and as you can see, he just completely missed him. Number five. I think mean, that was Cruis, was it there? No mucking about. And they're definitely going to finish off the conversion. So that victory, which we could have had, far too short-lived. And the conversion, no surprise there. That Owen Farrell converts. And, uh, well. But we've done it once. Hopefully it wasn't a fluke. We'll soon know if it was or not. Let's get the ball back. Very strong though from him there. It has to be said. But we've turned it over again. Let's go down the same side we were before. And again, Bassett's on it. We're making up good ground. Come on, he's running for it. Oh, unlucky there. A little bit unlucky. Did well though. McIntyre. Oh, no. oh lovely. Gopov. Come on, we can get a chance here, you'd think. Got this right. Zib Zibarigi, he's out on the wing, he's the right player. I was trying, trying to make sure I pronounce his name right. This is far better from us, far better. Young, oh no, we've missed it, we've lost the ball. Oh, it's an injury to Vunipola for them, but we need to make sure we get this or else this could be considerably dangerous. And it's gone out, should go out now for a line out. Protect it, that's it. No, they picked it up. That's good from us. Oh, pressure took off. They got the ball back. Vunipola's injured. Um, yes, we're going to um, take Young off and bring Johnson on. But uh, that's gutting. We were very close. And that is gutting. Go on. AXB. AXB. Do you know what I'm doing here? Can we get it? Yes, we have. Get it out. Oh, this is going to be a risk. This is worrying. This is really worrying. Don a form of defensive touchdown. We're not going to have an option here. Well, here comes the scrum. Luckily, we should be able to win this. And we might have to just concede a line out here, but get it as far away as we can. But we are good in the scrum. And this is close. I feel we'll have another chance at some point in this game. We're playing far better than we did before. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Keep it. That's good. Just keep pushing them back. Very good. Right, so we need to extract now. Get it gone. That's it. Bassett's made a little bit of movement. That's nice. Albeit only a bit of movement, but it's good. It's out of the danger zone, I would say, for now. The real danger zone. Shields, that's good. Out to Zibarigi. That is a lot of ground made up. Definitely out of the danger zone. I think you can tell that we are... Uh, oh, they've won it. For goodness sake, get it. Thank God for that. Just get it out. Take it out. Advantage lost. Is that for us? It was a knock-on. I think it probably was our fault. We got completely too scared there and just bashed the ball about, hoping for something. But here comes a scrum. So let's just try the attack side choice with this scrum. It's close to the byline, this is, so... We have a risk that this could go out. As you can see, we're not very good at the line outs, but this is our scrum. Well, that's mm, going to get penalised for that. Goodness sake, we were good at the scrums on the train, and we just completely butchered that. And Well, fairly obvious what they're going for there. You don't need a genius to tell you. 
Um, I'm going to go for a scrum. We're, we're decent in the scrum, although that obviously doesn't uh, evidence that at all, what we did there. But I genuinely feel we've got a bit of a chance against Saracens. That's better. Scrum half puts the ball in. Ball cleanly hooked back. And just push the ball out as much as we can. We've got 17 seconds. Move it forward as much as we can and then just get it out. This is good. This is good. Five, four. Ball gathered in by the number eight. Oh, come on, you idiot. That was terrible. That was terrible. Far too cocky there. Go on, bass it, lovely. Just run with it now. Run with it. Oh, I mean, that was some good ground made up. Not quite got the men, unfortunately, up, but there's not much you can do about that sometimes. McIntyre's got some room. Unlucky. We're starting to play better, though. Saracens aren't uh, the best defensively. Zib Zibarigi has got a bit of room here. And he's made up quite a bit of ground, but if he's out there by himself, he's going to struggle to make any serious ground up. But this is good stuff. Here, we've got an advantage. Gopov, just get it, but it's an average... But a de 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 de. If I can get my bloody words out. Um, advantage lost. So, we're going to make the substitutions that are relevant, I would say. Um, and we're going to just tap and go here. No. I did click to tap and go, but perhaps might have glitched. I don't know. But a scrum? I'll take a scrum every day of the week. Just before half time, so hopefully we can get something before the half is finished. And here we go. Hook. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. We want to make sure we win the scrum. Just got to keep focus. Because these are tricky. These are really tricky. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not very good at... Uh, Trying to focus on this at the same time as doing anything else. Right, get it out. Go. De Jong, Fikatoa. To bass it out on the wing. Oh, just a pity you couldn't show a bit more strength there. This is where it gets tight. Oh, well. Okay, it's technically half time. But of course, we've got as much time as till the ball goes out. And I'm willing to work with that. Well, we did have a chance. But I don't think we have now. We don't want to concede anything silly here. Ooh. Come on, Wasps. Make something happen. I don't think it is from here. Zibarigi is just going to be challenged straight away. That's nice, though, from him. We're going to have to learn some of the more advanced passing techniques. I don't think we're going to make any serious ground through doing this unless we get lucky, like at the start of the match. But not doing badly here. In a match that they're expected to get battered in, we're certainly not doing badly. Bassic, oh, it's a shame. Once again from Bassic, could have really started a nice counter. Dangerous play, though, from Michael Rhodes. Picks up a yellow card. Let's have a look. Met the substitution as well. Brooks and McIntyre. Um, I would say take a penalty kick, try and make some ground. Get a lot close to their goal and hopefully make some solid ground. That's good, though. As long as we can get a tackle in here. But, of course, they're too wise to that. Oh, dear, pick it up. That better not be one of theirs, by the way. Thank God for that. We protected the ball. And that didn't really work as intended. But, oh, well, it doesn't matter in the end. Launch Bree Shields has got it. Oh, unlucky. We're going to keep this going, though, till the half. It's worth having a go at this. If you've got the ball, well, you never know what you can do. Zibarigi. Zibarigi tags him on beautifully. And I think it's the right stick you need to hold to uh, try and push players off, if you like, if you're in that sort of space that Zibarigi was in then. But obviously, if you've got three players on, it's a little bit unrealistic. You're not going to be able to quite get it. So, strike with Fikatoa. Dangerous play for... I mean, come on. We got the advantage there, surely. Hmm. Yeah, dangerous play. And that's an injury. That is an injury. Who is the injury for? It's for Brad Shields. Well, Brabs one, two, three. I'm sorry. Your mate's gonna have to come back, isn't he? Where is he? I, I think I've took him out of the pitch altogether, haven't I? You Burke. Thomas Young. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? I mean, he's got a stamina of 32. Ah. Oh. That's annoying. FL's flanker, isn't it? Yeah. Well, 
Thomas Young's gonna have to. Thomas Young's already come off. Ah. Oh. Okay, Gaskell can play as one, so that eases our issue a little bit. We're gonna have to bring a uh, a lock on, so we'll bring Charlie Matthews on. That's all we can do. Have to take him off so he can be looked after. Well, that's disappointing. An injury for Brad. Some dangerous play committed by Saracen here. It's two yellow cards so far. But I don't think we're going to get these two matches in today because this attempt to go to half time is just trying to push forward. And this could go on absolutely for everybody. It's a good opportunity, I would say, for us, in my opinion. They're obviously feeling a little bit worried because, again, we're, you know, we're pushing forward and they're committing fouls. And this didn't happen in previous matches. Just keep moving the ball forward. That's it. Five, four, extract. Go. Good Robson. Minazzoni. Bassett. Oh! Bassett there. Well, did you see that? The little turn. I'm getting all fancy at this now. But the fact remains that we're still losing in this game. So, that's a little bit of a concern. Oh, Cruz couldn't quite get there. That would have been a great opportunity. By the way, look at the space. Zibarigi, come on, son. Just beat the man. Not quite, but what a great amount of ground that was made up there. As long as they don't win this back now. That's good. Vikitoa. Johnson. Oh, I couldn't, just, couldn't quite get the ball out. We are getting so close to having a potential breakaway here. Gaskell. Out to Brooks. Zibarigi, come on. He's beat the one man. He's not going to beat two, but we are making ground up now. Can we get anything before the half finishes? Come on, the man out wide. Yes, there is. Go on, Bassett. Beat him. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm getting far too technical now. But De Jong. Oh, he's tackled straight away. I mean, the fact remains, I keep saying, we haven't scored since about the third minute. So we are, therefore, still behind. Gaskell. Vikatoa. Zibarige. Come on. Come on, son. Oh, not quite. Not quite. I'm willing to keep going here. There's no point putting this out for half time. We are really on top, I would say, here. Brooks. Cruz. Oh, I can't quite get the pass away. That's gutting. Last thing we want's a silly turnover, though, now. Bassett out on the wing. Can't beat the man, but we are making ground up, definitely. We are really making ground up here. Brooks. Matthews, Johnson, can we get it out to the wide? We certainly can to Zibarigi. Does can't beat the man. Can't quite beat the man. So anybody out there now we're going to have to go left again. Gaskell. Oh, the ball's gone. We really don't want a silly breakaway now. Ball back straight away. That's what you call solid. But that's not quite so solid. I mean, again, we're willing the ball back well in these, uh, in these rooks, but they're going to get the ball here. Just don't want to... I mean, we dominated the half, I think you can argue, especially this last however many, however many minutes, we have dominated, but there you go, Bassett, come on, beat another man, not quite, but we're starting to make the ground up again, you can tell how desperate I am, just for one try here, can't you, goodness me, Becker Tower can't quite make it, strap the ball, out to Matthews, Zimmerigi, not quite, can't quite get it out to him on to the wide man, Vicky Tower, Lordsbury, get it out! Oh, I wonder which way we're going to go now. Zibridge, can't quite beat the man. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't going to end in anything. Advantage lost, a knock on. And I think that is going to be half time, is it now? Yeah, it is half time. After all that, we don't make anything. But there are positives to definitely take from this, this first half. In the second half, I think we can make something happen. So let's see. But we're starting well here. Wouldn't it be a brilliant statement to make after a poor start? Oh, well, we lost the ball. That's not really much of a statement to make, is it? Goodness me. Um, but wouldn't it be great to make a statement to say we've beaten the Saracens? That would be huge. Injury to one of their, to one of our players, I think. Bassett can keep it for now, but he can't keep it forever. He does well. Let's make a bit of ground up. A bit of dirty play once again from Saracens. You have to be careful, or else they're going to get one of their men sent off. But uh, we've got an injury in the ranks. We need to just watch that a little bit at the moment, because that's going to be a big concern. And again, 
you know, we've got advantages, and I should be picking up more yellow cards here. And uh, our lad obviously needs to come off. Number 17, the prop. If we walk out of this game with nothing the way it's going, it would be heartbreaking. Oh, that's not good enough. You can feel the desperation in my voice. Just do something, can't you? Well, it's gone out for a line-out. You know how bad we are at line-outs. Quick throwing, though, and that'll do. That'll do. I don't mind that. Come on, we've got to think fast now. Come on, win it, win it. Well, they've got it back in the rook. That is disappointing. Because there it's silly little things like that that just allows a quick breakaway. Our defence isn't very good, so, you know what they're saying, football especially. Defence is the best form of attack. And I'm sure it works out here as well. Oh, bloody hell. Well, we'll take a free kick. Try and ease the pain for just a little bit. That's not bad, actually. That really isn't bad. That's gone a lot further than I thought it would. Good decision, I think. And equally, even though they've tried to kick it back, that's gone a lot further than I thought it would. We've got a chance here. Fikatoa out to Bassett. Can't quite make it, but just look at the ground we made up in that one move there. I really do think we can get a try, and it's that belief that will keep us going in this match to hopefully get something. But that's poor. That's the problem, again, with having too many of the same colour. I mean, that's, that's alarming that they've made up that ground already. But advantage lost for us. I don't know why we haven't made the substitution yet. Is he actually going to come off at some point? Again, another line out, not really surprising. But Zibaridge does keep it. Zibariggy does even. To lose in this style to the Saracens, I think... Uh, well, there's still plenty of time to go, so I'm not going to say anything yet. Just get it out of here, man. Oh, Gasco, it's tackled. I mean, they're very aggressive, the Saracens, today. Matthews, Fekatoa, Bassett. Can't beat the man. 20 minutes to go in this match. Can you believe it's been nearly an hour in game time, anyway, since we scored that first try? Zibarigi, can't beat the man. We're not making any ground now. And they've just won it back through our... No! Through our silliness. Come on, we've got to get this back, as we have. Zibariggy whacked there. Just get this out as much as we can. I know it was only a little pump, but we've made up a bit of room. Albeit only a few yards, potentially. But we've won the ball back in the, the rook there. You can see I'm struggling to commentate because I'm just trying to keep this intact. Well, what do we do here? I mean, I can't believe the substitution's still not been made yet, but I certainly don't want to get it out. Certainly not now. Zibarigi on the wing. He's knackered, isn't he? He's going to be absolutely knackered. I think it's the problem of using the sprint button far too much. We're just, our players are knackered compared to them, who have obviously just defended really all game. Not really had to sprint too much. Ekitoa out to Bassett. Back across. Ekitoa, that's not too bad. And the game time moves very quickly. Only 10 minutes left in this game against Saracens. Zibarigi, that's no good. So I was going to pass it out to the right. There's nobody there. Come on. Let's say get this back. Got to make something happen quickly. Pass it again. Come on. We can't be pushed back anymore. Gaskell. Gaskell, launch break. Oh, it's just too scrappy. Just some. Oh, no. Pass the bloody ball. Oh, well. Well. Damn it. I feel robbed. I feel absolutely robbed in this match. I really do. We were just, they were just too quick for us there, but I feel robbed. Absolutely robbed. Now for the extra two. I feel we don't deserve this. I don't know what you guys think. Perhaps I might just be a bit petty. I don't know, but we still got four minutes. I mean, I don't know why our number seventeen still not come off. 
we got players with absolutely no stamina. Um, unless we've made all our swaps. No, we haven't. I think the two props have already come off. Have they? Yeah. Um, that's a problem then, isn't it? So he's going to have to stay on. But we've got centres with absolutely no stamina left at all. Resume ST centre. Not too fussed really at the moment. Um, and Fekito is going to have to come off. Zibarigi, surprisingly, he's still got a stamina, stamina of six left. We're going to leave that substitution for now. Got underneath. Personally, Superb. get a try. Um, you know, if, if this gets to 80 minutes and we don't get anything, then obviously it's all over. Um, but, you know, if we, if we can just get a try, just get something out of this and it'd be a little bit closer, I think that would be fairly self-explanatory. Self that would be that would be satisfactory in my opinion. But I think we've shown if you want to be positive, I mean, where's, where is the player? There you go. Um, we've showed plenty of signs of improvement today. We've been a lot further into this game, I would argue. Bassett can't beat the man. I mean, there's nobody here. That's the problem. That is the problem. There's nobody here. And, uh, well, we got to 80 minutes. Unless something ridiculous happens, which it won't, of course. Um, that's it for this game. We're not going to win. It's going to be three defeats from three. And uh, we're going to have to start worrying. But we have played Saracens. We've played Harlequins. So, we can take that. Zibariggy's just knackered out here on the wing. I am determined to get something before the end of this game. But as always, you know, we've made strides today, but we're going to have to improve. Bassett, out on the wing, can't beat the man, but better. I just feel it's a little bit too crowded in the middle. I think that might be something that... Oh, well. We chose to protect that, and we couldn't. But hands in the ruck from Gopeth, that was too aggressive, and I think that might possibly be it from the foul. No, it's not. This will be it, though. They're going to kick it out. We might as well just try and make the ground up. But in fact, he's just been beaten to the ground. A Zibrigi, poor lad. I mean, he's going to have to have about a four-week break after this. Bassett, though, on the wing. Out to him. And, uh, well, that's going to just go straight to them, isn't it? It is. Change over. And he's beaten the man. And that's going to be another try. I mean, yeah. Our defence isn't... Well, not good enough. Simple as, but... That will come with time. But he's a very nice conversion. Then again, there from Farrell. Not much of a surprise. But there you go. In the end, a, a result that befits the occasion. What was expected anyway. The final score is 5 to Offs, 21 to Saracens. And to think, in the first five minutes, we led by 5 to nil. But three breakaways from Saracens. We dominated the whole match, I would say, pretty well. 50 or 60 minutes at least. But we just couldn't make it happen. Our, ma our match management's got to become better. We've got to take our chances. And hopefully, in tomorrow's episode against Bath, we will make something happen. Another uh, achievement there. 20 game of score. A safe pair of hands. Catch all line out throws during a match. To be fair, there was only one. Um... But again, we'll look at the achievement. No, we don't look at next achievements. Recent achievements. There we go. Safe pair of hands. And we've already got 140-odd gamer score. Now, I mean, a lot of these is win, 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 win. So, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. I think that's some whole episode, that bit does. Keep an eye on the stamina gauge. Goodness me. But, I think it's fair to say there aren't going to be two matches today. That was a long one. But a frustrating match will be as well. If you did enjoy that, make sure you leave a like down below. As I've said, every like means a hell of a lot. Comment your thoughts as well. Um, on my game and where can we improve and also subscribe for regular rugby 20 content apart from that thank you very much for your company today and hopefully in the next episode we will beat bath and i think just to confirm yes we are at the bottom of the table but bath are only on five points they've won one lost two um but we need to improve saracen's are top of the table now and ultimately need to improve it's gonna be a much closer match we are away from home but fingers crossed we can pick up our first good results of the season thank you for watching and i'll see you all later on goodbye for now